Hello and welcome to this full body yin practice. I'm Devi Daly, really looking forward to sharing with you one of my go-to ways to practice where we do one posture for each of the major target areas of the body. This practice is going to relieve stress. It's going to stretch deeply into the tissues of the body, the fascia, the muscles, and the joints, bringing healing and bringing a deep state of rest and calm. So let's get to it. Start sitting with the soles of your feet together in butterfly pose. So bring the soles of your feet together. Your hands can be on your shins, your ankles, your toes, or on the floor in front of you. Feel free to sit on a cushion, a pillow, or a folded blanket or towel if you would like to be a little bit higher in the hips. And we'll rest here for three minutes to begin. The target area of this butterfly posture is the inner thighs, the inner groin area. You can bring your feet closer or farther away to help get that stretch. And feel free to use any additional props if you want to have something underneath the outsides of your legs to support them a little bit higher. And from within this posture, begin to pay attention to your breath, to feel your breath. Notice where your breath goes in this pose, maybe a little more into the back body, maybe down into the bowl of the pelvis. And maybe with your next inhale, you can pull the breath down into the inner thighs, into the places where you feel the sensations of the pose. Soften and rest a little bit more with each breath that you exhale. Good, and now slowly release. Bring the spine upright and pause here with the spine upright. And now take the hands on the floor behind you and slowly lower down, coming all the way onto your back. And rest here on the back for one full minute, spreading the arms and legs out as much as you'd like to, taking up as much space as you'd like to. And now feeling the sensations in the body as you rest here in stillness. After that first posture, feel what's happening inside.
Inhale, bending the knees, hugging them into the chest. Wrap your arms around your legs and gently rock side to side. Feeling the back of the body, feeling the spine, feeling the hips. And now roll all the way over onto one side and come onto your belly for a back bend, Sphinx and Seal Pose. So we'll do half of our time in Sphinx and then half the time up in Seal. Sphinx is on the elbows and the forearms. You can do the palms down or you can clasp the hands together. Legs can be wider or narrower depending on what feels best in your body. Softening the low belly, softening the ribs. A very gentle lift happening here through the crown of the head and a gentle pressing of the elbows into the ground. From the ribs down, see if you can relax the body. Soften the hips, the hip flexors, the belly, the front of the thighs, tailbone and the buttocks. And now we'll lift it up into seal pose, which is going to be more sensation. If you feel like you have enough sensation here, then go ahead and stay here in Sphinx. Otherwise, hands come either, uh, hands come a little bit wider, lifting up. You decide if you want your hands wider apart or closer together, or if you want to bring them closer in to get a steeper or deeper stretch or farther in front of you for less intense. The fingers typically turn out here, which for most people is a little bit easier with the elbows to be able to lock out. And that way you can rest here without, rest, without um, using a lot of arm strength to hold yourself up. But everybody's bones are different, everybody's arms and hands are different, so feel free to play around with the exact angles of your fingers and hands. down now and slowly come all the way onto the belly rest your forehead on your hands stack your hands rest your forehead and take a few moments here to be still to feel what's happening in your lower back and typically the sensation of the pose like this where we're stressing a certain part of the body with a lot of sensation that often happens coming out of it. That sensation will start in a certain place, maybe more right in the sacrum or the lower back, and then it will start to spread over time and change and shift. And we can just observe this process. Enjoy following the sensations. And now slowly lift your hips to come back into child's pose, bending the back in the opposite direction.
And coming up now to hands and knees and into sleeping swan pose. Send your right knee forward, turn on the shin and settle back. Stretching into the right glutes here, the right buttocks. So angle yourself, maybe a little more to the right, maybe a little more to the left, maybe taking this foot farther up or farther back so that it feels right for you. And the torso could be higher up. Most people like to come a little farther down somewhere, either the elbow or all the way down onto the hands. Some people will reach the hands out in front comfortably. And as you find your posture, for some of you, taking the knee more toward the midline in front of you will be a better position, giving you a better stretch or getting around any knee pain to get the knee more in centered rather than far out to the side. For others, bringing it way out to the side is a lot better. You can always come onto your back into figure four pose as an alternative to this or one of the seated outer hip stretches, the square or shoelace. and letting the breath help to carry you farther into the pose with your awareness. Each breath, especially each exhale, the body softening into each exhale. And now slowly releasing, come up, step back to downward dog once again. And from downward dog, drop your knees down to the ground, left knee forward this time for sleeping swan pose. making your adjustments and take your time finding those adjustments so that you can be perfectly comfortable to really rest in this pose for the time that we're going to be here.
and slowly now coming back up plant the hands to come back into a downward dog taking a few nice deep breaths here in the dog pose feeling into the outer hips now the glutes the legs if it feels good walk the legs out good and now drop the knees rest once again child's pose one minute And now slowly coming up and come into a seated cross-legged position. So sitting with your right hand coming behind you. We'll do a series for the upper back for the shoulders. Starting with this right hand coming to the back and inch your hand up till you get to a place where you feel a good stretch in the front of your shoulder that's not too much. One minute here. And the idea is to keep the chest lifted, the shoulders rolling back. Your left hand can do whatever's comfortable, it can be on the ground, on the knee. Good, and release that hand and staying in your cross leg seated position. Take your arms out to the sides and then cross them in front of you with your right arm over your left. Eagle arms here, so palms together if it works for you. This is not a position that works for everyone, so if you want to hold on to the backs of your shoulders or give, just kind of give yourself a hug, that does the same effect here for the upper back as we come into this upper body forward bend and this is different than coming into this kind of forward bend where we hinge at the hips instead we're purposefully kind of rocking back on the pelvis and going to take the the elbows in kind of toward the belly and in this way we get this nice stretch between the shoulder blades and this nice rounding of the upper back Exploring here for about a minute. Feel free to move it around a little bit. Let the hands sway side to side, kind of like you're swimming. That's what I think of this as kind of a swimming move. All right, very good. Now keep the elbows and arms as they are and lift the elbows up and just take a little bit of a back bend here with the fingers reaching up, the elbows reaching up, the gaze reaching up. Good, release the hands, release the arms and come into it on the other side now. So left hand comes behind your back and you can inch that hand up 
to whatever place feels good for the stretch in the left shoulder. And find your breath here. Finding a lift up through the crown of the head, finding an open chest, a lifted heart. Great, and releasing now, and taking that arm out to the side, both arms out to either side. Cross them in front of you again as you stay in your cross-leg position, this time left arm over the right, and into those eagle arm or the hug, and coming into this upper body forward bend once again. So rocking back from the sitting bones. It's kind of hollowing out your belly feeling. Hollow the belly and bring the elbows toward the belly or toward the low ribs. Great, and now lifting up with the spine upright, elbows lifting, and find that lift of the elbows, fingertips, gaze up toward the sky. Squeezing the upper back, squeeze the back of the neck. And release. Take your hands behind you on the floor. Take your legs out in front and come up into upward facing plank, lifting up the hips, little weight on the arms and shoulders here. And take the hips back to the ground and now spill forward over the legs into your caterpillar pose. So the legs might be hips width apart, they might be totally together, or they could be wider. They could be as wide apart as your mat. And as we work on stretching into the backs of the legs, the hamstrings, and the spine, you decide which width of the legs works best for you today.
Wonderful. And now slowly feel what's happening in the spine as you come upright and all the way down onto your back to rest for one full minute. Feel the effects of the pose. Legs can always be bent for these rests on the back if that feels comfortable for your lower back and if it feels better than extending the legs. Or you extend legs and arms. Your resting position, whatever feels good, just taking this time to be still and to feel the energy flowing through your tissues, flowing through your meridians, And now bend your knees, hug them into your chest, wrap the arms around the legs, and gently rock side to side. And coming now into spinal twist, taking both knees over to your left side, and the right arm out to the right side. Left hand can anchor the legs down, and you can take any variation you like here if you like to cross right knee over the left or have the bottom leg straight or use props in any way. Letting the breath carry you into the twist, into the sensations happening in the bones of the spine, the discs in between the bones of the spine, the muscles of the side bodies, the obliques. As you reach this right arm out to the side, feel the chest muscles opening and extending. And breathing into all of this sensation. And as you rest farther and more deeply, you may notice that the sensation moves from the more surface sensations of muscle to the more deep sensations of fascia. And as your practice evolves, you may even begin to sense into your bones, the bones which are living organisms inside of the body, the bones of the spine here, the bones of the ribs as they twist. slowly release, come back to the center, 
pause at the center with the knees resting against one another, the feet wide and the hands on the belly. Pause and feel. taking the knees over to the other side. So your hips can go to the left first and then the knees over to the right, left arm out to the left side, right hand maybe on the legs, maybe the knees crossed. And now slowly release, bring your knees back up to the center and straighten your body out into Shavasana or star pose, any comfortable position using any props you'd like to have here for our final resting period. And start by finding stillness. And from the stillness, letting the breath come in to inflate the ribs, to inflate the belly, to expand the whole body. And then letting this breath go. And as you exhale, let the body sink deep into awareness, into the earth. And taking another breath in to fill the body from the inside. Good, and I 
as you exhale, feel everything soften, feel everything lengthen and rest. And now one more of these, breathing in to expand the ribs, the back, the belly. And with the exhale, completely softening and resting here. Any remaining bits of tension anywhere that you notice, just letting them go as you completely blossom in this moment. And now gently starting to wiggle your fingers and your toes and feel the yumminess of this energy from this practice in your body as you enjoy a nice long stretch of the arms above the head. Reach up through your fingers, reach down through your legs and feet. And now exhaling to bend your knees and roll to one side and come on up into a comfortable seat. Place your palms together in front of your heart. Close your eyes. Take three breaths here, feeling the palms together, right palm pressing into left, left palm pressing into right, and a little bit of space between these palms at the hollow of the palms where you can imagine that this is where you're holding your own heart gently. And breathing into this gentle heart, taking care of this gentle heart. And from this heart space, please join me to chant Om five times today. Inhale. Oh Oh
sitting for one more minute to feel the resonance of sound inside of you. Feel the vibration touching every cell, every tissue, every pore of your skin. That's our practice. Thank you so much for taking time out of your valuable day to join me. Namaste. Well done. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button and let me know below if you have any questions about the practice, about how things felt in your body, or if you have any requests for future classes. Thanks so much.